The United States is helping the Philippines to develop an acquisition plan for a fleet of multi-role fighter aircraft as part of a broader roadmap for the next decade of defense acquisitions, top officials from both countries announced Tuesday in Washington as the two countries continue to tighten up military ties. Top officials of the Philippines and the United States have discussed the need to hasten talks on the acquisition of the advanced multi-role fighter aircraft for the Philippine Air Force, one of the major projects under the AFP's modernization program. The U.S. government has been supporting the AFP modernization program over the years through transfer of equipment. Among projects that are in the pipeline under the AFP modernization is the acquisition of a fleet of multi-role fighters MRFs. Defense officials have said the MRF project would cost at least P61.2 billion. Among the aircraft reportedly being considered for procurement by the Defense Department under the MRF acquisition project are the F-16 of the US, Gripen of Sweden, and KF-21 of South Korea. The Philippine Air Force has been in the market for a dozen new multi-role fighters since at least June 2022, when then-President Rodrigo Duterte approved a plan. At the time, former Philippine Air Chief Lieutenant General Connor Anthony Canlis Sr. said the islands sought a fourth-generation fighter, having received proposals for US F-16s and Swedish JAS-39 Gripens. The United States offered its F-16 fighters to the Philippines during the Duterte administration but then-Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana said the F-16s are very expensive to buy and maintain. The joint statement said the two countries underscored the importance of fast-tracking discussions on an acquisition plan for a fleet of multi-role fighter aircraft for the Philippine Air Force, as well as of leveraging the additional $100 million in foreign military financing that the United States announced last fall to acquire medium-lift helicopters.